Hey, this is Daryl Webster here with some good news for Sway fans who are looking to use Sway more often for doing presentations. I got this email this morning saying that one of the ideas that I'd posted in the user voice for Sway um, has been taken further and they've produced the feature. Um, the feature is that we're able to adjust the size of text within Sways. So, user voice does work, people do make suggestions and the team does listen and um, that's the general pattern we're seeing with each of the Microsoft product groups. So let's um, take a quick look at this feature. So what I've done is I've um, gone to my Sways and uh, I had imported an existing PowerPoint and I just wanted to show you quickly what that PowerPoint was. It was a uh, one from a, a OneNote presentation that I'd done earlier last year and um, I'm just trying to bring that content across to show you um, how I uh, put that in as a presentation format within Sway. Um, so of course Sway is going to bring across thing like, things like text and, and pictures and, and things like that, but it's not going to be exactly the same as your PowerPoint. So as I brought that across, um, you'll see that I've got uh, the title slide, I've got a little about myself, there's some images, um, and I get down to uh, text like this, and I want to show you how that turns out within the, the Sway when you're using it for presentations. Uh, so let's minimize that. Let's go over to what the imported view looks like. So what we were used to seeing beforehand with Sway was when we'd import text. I was really keen to use it as a presentation tool. Um, however, we were seeing text that was about this size. And if you can imagine at the back of the room, and I have kind of got this in a, a play kind of format where you, you get the idea, it's, it's up and um, presented to an audience, that some of this text is not so easy to read. Um, you know, you've got to go through and, and have a look at that. So I've, I've uh, currently I'm using the navigation format of um, left to right, scrolling left to right or horizontal. Um, and you get a similar effect with scrolling up and down. We have had this format for a little while, so I do recommend using the uh, optimize for presentation format or for navigation. So as I change that, uh, we get it reformatted, of course. Thank you, Sway. Um, showing my intention for the content and now we're back to uh, something that is more more like PowerPoint You notice this is the title slide and so it's brought across the title uh, It has brought across that other text box in PowerPoint and just created a separate card for it So there is going to be some things as you import it from PowerPoint that uh, you might want to have to massage and adjust um, however, if you're starting from Sway and then you just create the presentation and show your intent. So I'll just talk through a few things as I've done that. Um, so yeah, okay, the text is still small though, isn't it? So there's a, you know, a few things that I want to adjust that. And here's where the new feature kicks in. Um, if we go up to design, um, we can now go, uh, where are we? We were in customize, and we can customize the design and text. And below that, we now have an option to adjust the text size. Now you'll see that um, it will be set to normal uh, when you first use it. Uh, and this being that the text is uh, slightly larger and, and it already is kind of optimized for presentation, um, as opposed to the small font that we had earlier that was really just the only choice. Um, we could only signify uh, let's make a heading, let's uh, emphasize something, let's uh, give it um, uh, what was it? a subtle uh, italics kind of look about it. Now we've got the slider, um, then we can make uh, better use of that. You know, I, in my experimenting earlier today, I saw I was playing around with a large um, slide, and if I do that along now, um, it'll reformat that, and you'll see that uh, using the combination of the presentation view um, that I uh, now have the text, and it's a lot larger, as you'd expect. Um, however, when we get through to other slides, yeah, there we go. It would sometimes spill out the text at the bottom. So, um, just have a have a cons yeah consider what what you might want to use as far as text size goes. Uh, you might find that the the normal text size is fine. Um, as opposed to large, which may spill out across the screen. I find that this one's going to be fine for presentations. So the other uh, things that I did adjust as I was uh, going through this, and I brought the content through, um, you might have seen that the, the pictures come through and that they're not um, really optimized for, for display. I mean, this particular logo for the MVP logo um, isn't obviously the right right size. It's come through as blurry. So there's various things like that that you have to get your images uh, correct 
um, if you're going to be starting from scratch. Um, the the uh, images that I have for my slides, these were um, individual images, individual slides as I went through and compared it. So I thought I'd bring them together and create a slideshow group out of these images. And that works quite nicely too if I uh, go, go through and find that now. Uh, you might have seen that a little earlier as I flick through here. Um, that I've got it all on one card and I'm just able to click and compare and, and make those comparisons nicely without um, having to go through various slides. So it is just one card in this way. Um, the other thing that I toyed around with was content down here where I have uh, all of this on one slide. Gold versus nailed it. Um, let's find that slide. Yeah, gold versus nailed it. So I've got that comparison of, of a table and you can do this in PowerPoint. You can have two columns and compare. Um, we don't, it doesn't import that nicely across for for um, a sway, so you might have to get a bit creative with, with some of your content. But what I've done instead is uh, I've um, made this a group. I have the, uh, the goal and then the reality or the intention um, is, is on separate slides. So as I go through that, um, we have uh, goal, reality, goal, reality. Now, you know, the point of this presentation is to show you that the, um, the text slider uh, being able to adjust the size of our text is going to make this much more readable for our audience, um, whether it be that you stick with normal or you bump it up to the, the large text. Um, now you're going to give some, some more thought around how you're going to massage your content. Um, you don't have to uh, give it too much thought though. I mean the idea with Sway is what's my intent with this? What am I trying to get across? Um, I've got a, uh, a header which groups together this comparison of goal versus reality or goal versus nailed it and I've got each of my cards so using that intention Sway has given me a, a header that remains above each of these com comparisons goal versus reality as I go through uh, and when the uh, when we get further down to uh, looking at the common problems in teams um, I've grouped some of my images in a grid so I'm showing my intention that I want to be able to display all of these images together uh, so that people can see the flow of, in this, in this case, the flow of OneNote from um, OneNote 2003 right through to 2013-2016. So I think that it's coming on. Um, it's, it's a much better form now that you can adjust the size of your text. Um, you did see earlier the, the smaller text was really not optimal for presentations. Um, now that we do have the uh, design and that we can go down and adjust the text size from normal to large it's certainly more readable one thing I will comment about I also use the Sway app for 20 uh, for Windows 10 and that feature hasn't quite come through to the app yet so I expect it will will do soon um, based that on, on, on the uh, uh, similar experience that you have across the browser so, uh, good news, um, try it out a bit more. Uh, you can import your, your existing PowerPoints, you might have to massage the content, but I recommend that you consider starting from scratch and, and try and just signify to sway, how do I want this? What's my intent with this content? Where do I want to focus this picture on? Does it need to um, uh, you know, have the, the text split across different cards or, or can I group it? Uh, one other feature that I will just say before before I um, close off is um, that we can also use uh, what was it nested groups now, uh, and this this is something else I've been experimenting with to try and uh, present my content uh, in a way that would be better for a room full of uh, full of people watching from a screen. Um, is uh, within our cards we can create a an automatic group. And then we might, within that group, create a uh, stack and then drag that up into the group. Um, then you'll be able to add text as well. And then you might want to um, create a, another automatic group inside that. So you're nesting the groups now. And dragging that text up to here and here what this effect will have uh, and I should have some text in there I guess 
is that um, the the text will be grouped and it'll be put in separate panes so that you can have this effect of um, text card here, text card here, photo, 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 um, all within that same kind of view. Um, so experiment a little with that too. I think that's a, another way to, to try and signify your intent. Um, where in PowerPoint we might say, I want to have two columns for comparison, then you might use this group in the nesting scenario. You have a group, and then within that group you have um, another group and a group beside that, one with pictures, one with text, or, or vice versa, or a combination thereof. Lots of things to play with. See how you get on. Thanks.